So this is a quick video to help you understand how to apply the Tizo correctly for a wound healing application. Obviously Todd here hasn't got a wound, but if he did have a sore area on his paw, this is how you would do it. Place the, the lens of the Fatizo over the side of the wound, press the button just slightly off the, the wound area because this is a, quite a strong dose and it will be effective for underlying tissue healing as well. So to reduce the dose slightly, just lift it away about a centimetre away and hold it over the side of the wound for the duration of the dose, which is 31 seconds. And when it's finished, it will switch off. If it's a larger area, you would actually apply it to the next adjacent area. Okay, so if you wanted to work on a wound where it's a larger area than the actual surface of the fatizo, it's best to really apply a single dose around the wound margin. So say if Todd here had a cruciate ligament surgery, you could start on one area of the wound margin, just slightly off, bearing in mind that with wounds they wouldn't have hair, but you'd apply a whole 31 second dose to that one spot and then when the machine switches off then you basically apply it to the next adjacent area one dose on each spot the user guide actually says that it's really good to do one dose so then you'd move it to the next dose and so on and so on until you've actually gone around the whole wound margin the user guide suggests just one dose application or one session a day we have had really good reports of people doing it twice daily, but we would only recommend that you do that maybe 12 hours apart, once in the morning and once at night before they go to bed. If the wound area is dressed, Fatizo won't go through a dressing. So we'd advise you to still apply doses around the outside of where the dressing is because it will help nutrients and oxygen come into the wound area. It's also really useful to do on the proximate lymph area as well because that will open up lymphatic gateways, also stimulate healing. So you could even use the Tizo if they've got any sore pads, you know, if they lick, if they've had thorns or they've got any sore areas in their pads. The same principle applies once a day or even perhaps twice a day, morning and night. And for any wound healing, it's best to apply the doses until the wound is actually closed and even beyond because it will help to smooth out all the new collagen fibres and layers and really help to minimise scarring even if you do it beyond when the wound is actually healed up. You might want to actually cover the lens in cling film for all, any kind of wound healing application especially if there's fluid coming off the lens or if you're using the fatizo for other you know any other animals so that helps cross infection and actually keeps the fatizo clean. You can also sanitise it with the uh, Lucillin skincare. To check out more information about the science behind the Fatizo and all the healing effects on a cellular level, please visit our website at www.daintreehealthproducts.com or you could certainly sign up for one of our phototherapy CPDs where it will be quite an in-depth course about all the science and the technology.